dog lights the name. Okay, here's a look at another old masterpiece figure. This is uh, Power Glide by DX9. And actually, this is maybe also considered a Chug figure because this came out during the Chug era. So technically, I call this a masterpiece wannabe. But you know, you could see the way it's built, um, the scale. Uh, it does scale with X Transbots uh, mini bots, so you know it did fit in with the old masterpiece. But anyways, I just thought I'd point that out real quick. So you could see uh, this is really nice. Uh, so first, uh, as always, let's uh, compare this with the animation model. So you could see that uh, they did a nice job capturing uh, the tune aesthetics. Um, but, you know, like I said, this is an old masterpiece, so they do have some extra details here, like on the thighs, um, even his chest here, the little stripes. But they did uh, capture some of the details, like on his crotch there, the blue with the yellow and the red. Um, the lower legs here are at a slight angle. So, yeah, I think uh, they did a, a really nice job. And even the back, I think, is okay. Uh, but yeah, just thought I'd point that out. And in terms of uh, all the accessories, I mean, this is not a review, but it kind of is. You get all of this, and uh, I did want to point out these things when I compare with the fans' toys, because, <laughs> yeah, I got some more to say. But first, let's take a look. They give you that alien mask. Nicely sculpted, and let's just show this off so you could see. You just push in his head and rotate it around uh, 180 and you can see the little slot you find the tab and the slot line it up tab it in and it's a little hard because the head does rotate as you could see as you're trying to tab it in but once you can get it in there you can see and <laughs> that's uh, really cool kind of like that scene in the cartoon so that's always uh, fun and uh, accessory I think that makes sense so there's the head and um, you do get uh, a gun which uh, I think this is a standard um, auto Autobot gun because you could see the little angle here on the front and this is cool look at the way they designed it it just basically slides in I mean, there's no articulation with the thumb, but you know, this holds pretty well. And I did want to just point this out. Um, X Transbots does their thumbs like this too, uh, but there's a difference. The plastic here is a little bit thicker. So, you know, this doesn't break just from trying to put in the uh, handgun. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to point that out. And in terms of the articulation, it's that old style, kind of like those typewriter hands. That's all it opens up. And you do get one uh, curled finger that opens up. So yeah, that's uh, cool. You get his handgun. And um, you, they did, DX9 was nice to give you a nice little display stand for the alt mode. And uh, fans toys, uh, they didn't give you one. You have to buy their blue one if you wanted to have a display for Power Glide. So just wanted to point that out because, you know, that's something I'm starting to notice with fans toys I'm not liking. And the cool accessory that you get is the little Astorio doll, which is nicely sculpted, nicely painted. So this is really cool. And I think Fans Toys needs to start doing something like this because this accessory really makes sense. Um, goes really great with the figure. And um, something else DX9 gave you, and I really like it, but I'm really disappointed. Uh, they give you this really nice uh, artwork here of Power Glide. I don't know if I can get this all in frame because it's pretty big. I really like this you know this is done like in my style you know very uh, boxy with the high contrast unfortunately if you see it's you know folded up so you have all these creases so that doesn't help and also being a completist you know I wouldn't be too happy just to have a couple of character drawings I want to have them all 
And last, the instructions booklet, which I really like. Um, but here, uh, they didn't give you a content page, so you don't really see everything that you get. Um, but you could see the instructions are done pretty nice with the colored callouts and stuff, but these are not numbered, which is not good. And they're Omega Supreme, which is in my masterpiece collection. But I gotta do a uh, old masterpiece collection of Omega by Fans Toys, but that's the instructions. So, uh, back to Power Glide here. There is uh, another feature that you get here. You can open up his uh, chest, like so, and you could see the little painted heart there. That's really cool that they did that. Um, now, in terms of this figure, um, there is one uh, really annoying feature, uh, function with this figure. It's the way they designed this foot or the heel. So you could see this foot, the wing folds down kind of like slippers and it doesn't line up. So they made this so the heel drops down uh, at an angle. So it kind of lines up here. But unfortunately, it keeps sliding up because it's on a pin. So, yeah, that's why he has trouble standing because it keeps collapsing back up. So, they should have designed that better. Like, maybe go left and right instead of up and down. Or maybe use a screw that would have, you know, tightened up that joint. So, yeah, that's one major issue uh, in terms of form and function with this figure. But uh, uh, the one thing that really does bug me you know really is uh, his inner thighs are red. I don't like that. Obviously, that's uh, for the alt mold, but yeah, uh, yeah, I don't really like that. But overall, you could see uh, they did a really nice job. I guess this is kind of like a review, so you could see the head does pop up, so it can go up, down rotates all um, side to side the biceps you could see on a hinge goes out to the side rotates at the bicep on the mushroom swivel there is a double jointed elbow you get fist rotation you get the typewriter hands with one uh, index finger that opens up and uh, there is a waist rotation no ab crunch because this was before the ab crunch days you do get these hip skirts that you could lift up so you could lift up his leg forward and back just a little bit because his butt's in the way. It is like on a hip joint flap so you actually you can move it. Get it back if you needed to do that. You do get thigh rotation, you get knee rotation, you get a knee bend, you get ankle rocker, toe tilt down but no toe tilt up so yeah, it's a fair amount of uh, articulation. So yeah, this is uh, actually really, really uh, nice looking figure. So now, uh, if I can get him his heels to stay in place for some comparisons, let's bring out the uh, fans toys. And I'm gonna do my best to keep it simple, but uh, you could see the difference. Obviously, fans toys is much taller, so he does scale much better with the current uh, masterpiece uh, collection and typical fans toys you could see that you know it has a nice paint finish it has this good weight from the uh, die cast the quality of the plastic here is better uh, yeah you, just your typical fans toys premium look and um, obviously this is a newer figure than this one so this one is a little bit more tune accurate, um, such as kind of like the little circle on his bicep, the little rectangle on his thigh, um, but it's not perfect. I mean, his lower legs, you could see it's not at an angle like this, like it should be, uh, but that's just the way they decided to uh, design the uh, alt mode, which is another issue because that's not really a tune accurate alt mode. But um, yeah, I could point out a lot of things, but here I just thought I'd show you the difference between the two. And uh, I actually really like the fans toys in robot mode because it looks really nice. Um, 
but I also like the DX9. It's just, you know, this is an older figure. It has extra detail. It's a little bit smaller in scale. So, yeah, this is now my uh, power glide for my uh, official Masterpiece collection. And this is now the power glide for the uh, old Masterpiece collection. And just thought I'd show you this too. Fans Toys also did give you that feature uh, where you can open this up but this is really hard i mean you have to split the two sides a little bit just to open up that parting line so you could stick your nail in there which is still a little hard this is probably where you need a spudger but once you do all of that you can open it up and you could see they did give you a nice little heart there so yeah, that's really cool. And uh, yeah, the knees. I'm not going to go through all of this. Uh, hopefully you already know that uh, the engineering on this figure by Fans Toys is really bad. Uh, you know, the knees and stuff and the alt mode, it's not really tune accurate. And this one, I actually also had one of those issues with uh, a lot of people usually have with Fans Toys. There was a piece that fell out i don't know where it was but it fell out and that speaks to you know one of my complaints with fans toys i mean they're charging you more but they're not fixing certain things like you know putting little glues to for so these little plastic pieces i think oh yeah i think it was right here this little piece came off um yeah because they don't they're relying too much on the paint friction to just kind of leave it in there so we don't need to put any glue well then it falls off and and oh yeah that's uh something i'm starting to notice with fans toys you know not only are they charging more saving money getting making money but they're uh, making more money by just you know here there's no ratchets and stuff again they're relying on the friction here uh, you know, this is where it's okay, but then other areas, other figures where the paint friction is too tight, it causes an issue. But here, you know, there's no issues. But anyways, I go rambling. Um, this is what he looks like. Um, and it's a really nice figure. So now let's uh, go back to DX9 and transform him into his uh, alt mode and take a look at that. Okay, here's a look at Power Glide in his alt mode. But first, as always, let's compare this with the animation model and see how well they captured the tune aesthetics. So first, this is an old figure. So obviously it doesn't really meet the uh, tune accuracy that uh, we're getting today. So, you know, it has these extra details like this silver trim on this uh, thruster here the little gray detail on the wing back there and the shape of this i don't know what you call it it shouldn't be like these two blocks it should just be like this one block without the uh cylindrical cone shape for his shoulder being exposed but um you know overall uh you could see they did a, a really nice job uh, with this figure uh, it looks nice and you know this is uh, technically not a masterpiece figure this is uh, during the chug era so this is what I like to call wannabe masterpiece figure but you could see uh, yeah, this figure is done really nice and what's cool is DX9 uh, gave us a display stand to go with it and I mentioned that because when we bring out Fans Toys for comparison, you could see Fans Toys has a, a really nice uh, display uh, stand, but it doesn't come with it. You have to purchase this separately. So yeah, that's just uh, one of my gripes uh, with Fans Toys that I'm starting to notice that uh, they're becoming a little cheap and charging more. So that's... Uh, you're not really getting uh, value for what you're paying. But anyways, you could see it is a nice uh, stand with the nice transparent blue with all this extra sculpted detail. 
but uh, this does not function very well. Um, there's a little lock here that you you know use to rotate this up and down. Unfortunately, this doesn't uh, secure in place, so it easily comes off. And also, um, the little adapter piece here, just a little wobble, you could see it falls off. And this is another good example I'm telling you how Fans Toys is trying to rely on the friction from the paint to kind of lock this in place. And that's not really a good design just to have this one tiny peg for this big heavy uh, figure on here and to balance. Yeah, so I'm just pointing out that this, this wasn't designed uh, all that well. But you could see the differences between the two, the old and the new masterpiece. And every time I bring out Fans Toys figure, the first thing that stands out for me is uh, the nice paint finish. Because you could see how this has this nice shine to it, uh, the reflection on the light from the paint. So, it, you know, Fans Toys always looks really nice. Um, and then, you know, when you pick up the figure, you see it's already this thing doesn't work you can feel it feels it has a good weight because of the die cast and you know the quality of the plastics much better so fans toys always uh, has some nice uh, figures it's just um, um, there's two issues with this particular figure first of all the one that hopefully you already know if you've seen reviews on this already the engineering design for the transformation here is really, really bad. So transforming this was not fun at all. And I'm not going to go through like every single thing, but I'm just going to point out some things as an example. Like, uh, you know, there's these uh, two sides, the left and right side, that you need to get properly aligned and straight and tabbed in so it's nice and flush like this which is very difficult to do because when you're um, moving one side in there's no locking here to lock it in the center position so you know when you put it when you maneuver this down it either goes too far or not far enough and then it's the same on this side and then the little connecting pieces here they swivel so you're oh man it's really frustrating trying to fight through all of this uh, and then the tabbing system you know i was telling you the paint uh causes friction which is good in some areas but not so good in others so you have to apply force trying to uh get things to tab in while you're trying to fuss with things just flopping around i mean it's uh in short uh it was not uh designed very well um that's all i'm gonna say about this um but like everyone else says you know uh once you go through all of that you could see the finished product uh it does look nice and that's the other issue for me is that uh even though this looks really nice it's not tune accurate um yeah so that kind of bugs me this one, for whatever reason, they chose to base this off more of the realistic plane, which, you know, is cool, but, you know, for those people, you know, who like the tune accuracy, like me, uh, you just have to kind of accept it for what it is. I mean, it's still a, a really nice looking figure. But anyways, I just wanted to uh, show you the difference. This is uh, now going in with my... New uh, current masterpiece collection and the DX9 is now going with my old masterpiece collection if I can get them to stand here